tell you this little tale about it. Too. Yeah. <laughs> too many um, you know, up in the mountains, it's common for men to spend thousands of dollars on dogs to run <laughs> coons, you know. And uh, being in the songwriting business, songwriters' job is to observe things and report on them. You know, if you're trying to get a good looking woman to go out with you, might write some kind of love song, or something that might impress her, or you hope it does. If you see some social injustice, you're supposed to report on that. Well, when I was a kid, I observed the social injustice of people spending thousands of dollars on these great big mean dogs to run a little thing about this long through the woods and run him all night, you know. Uh, and I got to thinking, you know, I've heard a lot of songs written from a lot of different angles, but I'd really never heard one written from the coon's point of view. And with the coon's welfare in mind. <laughs> well, I got to thinking about it. What if he was a coon? What if he was an educated coon, a coon what knows how to read and write? What if you'd been run by a bunch of big pack of mean dogs and half drunk men with white whiskey and guns? And you'd finally gone as far as you could and you're sitting on a big white oak and looking down at eternity. Well, I pondered on it and I decided, you know, this is the United States, even a condemned man. Old Saddam before they stretched his neck. They asked him if he had any last things to say. Coon don't get that option. They asked Saddam and he said, ha ha ha! I decided that the coon, if he was sitting on a limb and there was somebody fixing to shoot him, if he had some last words, I believe this is it right here. Yeah, Bill! Now, the folks call me a bandit, a downright common thief. I'll make my living in a stealing corn, two miles up the creek. Woo! There's a bounty on the tail by the dark of the moon. Them old hound dogs are on my trail, it's a sad life for a coon. Holler. 